work on Shabbos. Shabbos? Shabbos, man. I don't roll on Shabbos. I don't work on Shabbos. Shabbos. Part two, are you ready? My life growing up felt like Tom Sawyer and Huck Finn. I had a raft. I literally had a raft. There's some unresolved issues. We could get to the bottom of this, you know? Of course, you know, the Jew had to move into a neighborhood. We should actually buy him therapy. Only to find out that his closest neighbor is a Jerry. Here's the parking lot where we drop the first four containers to be converted into beautiful homes. And then we get to do this together. It keeps touching me. I get to see how this show is going to turn out. And actually make money. The German and the white trash is going to be bossing me around. Great. I want to raise that thing. My name is Brad Porter and I live in a neighborhood in Los Angeles called West Adams. This neighborhood is uh, West Adams. Uh, it's an up and coming area. Out with the old, yeah. in with the new. West Adams originally was Beverly Hills of Los Angeles. I have six bedrooms and three bathrooms for three of us. It's a freaking national park as far as LA is concerned. What's up? We've worked together on numerous rink dink projects. You need a tool like Brad? He's here. That's Matthias. The German? Yeah. You need an architect, Matthias, he's here. We have all the tools that we need here in West Adams to make stuff happen. We can make container homes, we could probably make spacecrafts if we wanted to. Miguel, what I wish we could do, incorporate parts of the container more. I have a love-hate relationship with Matthias. Because you know, ultimately you gotta cut holes. When I see him, sometimes I hug him, but I really want to headbutt him. Yeah. You know, you gotta cut out a big hole here for your sliding door. Use that piece, it folds down, becomes your entry landing. He's an architect, so we kind of get along on that uh, front. The thing about container homes that excites me is that we can make it in a shop the way we want it. They can ship on, on a truck bed. I want to make uh, three models. The uh, 10 footer, which is the smallest one, uh -huh. the 15 footer and the 20 footer. Whether they be on the East Coast, in Alaska even, we can ship them a product that they're going to love forever and it's going to last them forever. It's a creative part of the house. Because we're in Los Angeles and there's a port here, the cost of the shipping containers is very low. For $2,000, you can just about get any size. With Gil's abilities in metalworking, my, I don't know what I bring to it. Brad is gonna be the salesman. He, you know, wears a suit better than me. I don't even own a suit. I'm supposed to calculate that this is half of this size without any measurements being written down? Well, visually. You were upset about graffiti, which was a big jump from graffiti to a gun. I was just like, really? We Israelis, we take a bit great offense. Even graffiti is retaliated <laughs> with firearms. You're like, I need a gun now. These guys keep tagging me. And I'm like, Gil, you can't shoot taggers. How can I describe Brad? It's frowned upon. Uh, there's no word to describe him, really. But, however, for the sake of good fun, let's go look at guns. A white trash guy from uh, the Keys. That's not how it was, man. You dropped everything you did and you're like, we're going to buy guns! <laughs> but he's a cool guy, cool as hell, he gets things done, he's motivated. Do you yeah. not understand second floor and first floor? It actually says it. Oh, thank you, that's a cool plan. This business can be good for people, not just for the economy, not just for me and Brad and for Jerry. What we need is a container. Absolutely, because I'm ready to start. If I need something done, like upholstery, which I don't do at the moment, I just go literally two, do two doors down and there's an upholsterer. So this is my neighbor, yeah. he's a maker like yeah. me. I need uh, a finisher, there's a finisher down the street. That's a beautiful fucking piece. So here in the neighborhood we have, I bet you there's more makers here on Adams than any other street in LA. A Israeli furniture designer 
I think this business is reflective of this whole city. A German architect. Because people don't have space and they don't really need space. And a redneck entrepreneur. You need something done, you get it done. In West Adams. What could go wrong?